Uh, Mark Pickering, bring bringing it down, Lo-Fi Live, with what's going on in the world today. And don't forget, tomorrow is Lo-Fi Live, people. That's right, the day has come. Check us out live and in person at the University of New Orleans, at the very own The Sand Bar. We'll be there from 5.30 to 8 p.m., and the live podcast is from 6 to 7, so come out for the meet and greet, talk to people. Lots of UNO organizations are going to be out there for you my friends, and snacks provided, so come on in. All right, all right, all right, but now, to our special edition episode of Hades Getting Help. Finally. That's right, finally, after over two years, we see movement. On Monday, the United Nations Security Council voted, 13 in favor, and two abstained, to authorize the use of international United Nations peacekeeping forces in Haiti. The UN security forces are going to Haiti. Now, in the vote, it was 13 and two abstained. China and Russia were the two that abstained. I know you were curious. I got you. I got you. But the Security Council authorized troops for one year, and then they'll review the progress after nine months, decide what they want to do then. And they are funded by volunteer members of the United Nations. Now, we do not know how many people are going to be in there, and we don't know when they're going either. It's going to take time to put these forces together. Months, even. It could even be 2024 before they leave in Gibbon. And Kenya will likely lead the forces along with the Bahamas, Jamaicas, and Antigua and Barbuda, but also potentially Chile, Spain, and Senegal may be sending in forces. So, so far, that brings us to seven countries possibly going into Haiti under a United Nations flag to restore peace to the point to where Haiti can have a new election. Because elections haven't taken place since 2016, people. And the country has been a failed state since their last president was assassinated in the summer of 2021. About a year after that, the remnants of the Haitian government in 2022 asked for international help from the United Nations. And about a year after that, the United Nations just voted on it. But now, we'll see how much longer it will take for the UN to actually get there. And what will happen in Haiti while waiting for the UN to arrive. Because I don't imagine all the gangs are just going to sit around and wait for the UN to show up. They're going to do something. But what? will also happen once the UN does arrive. Now look, UN peacekeeping missions throughout the years have had mixed results to say the least. There's almost always cases of sexual violence, of torture, of extrajudicial killings, of looting and stealing. Like the past of UN peacekeeping, most definitely is not always a good thing. But doing nothing and letting Haiti fall further. Well, some might call that a crime against humanity as well. Eyes open on Haiti, lo-fi listeners. If you've never seen an international forces invading a country under the United Nations banner, you're about to. We'll keep you posted as we hear more. Because that's just a snap of what's going on in the world today. Bring it there, man, like. Lo-fi poli is more than just me. It's the we that we be. Pickering, signing off. <laughs> <laughs>